So today we will discuss about uh, the questions related to electricity topic because the last last class we completed the chapter of electricity. So today we will solve some questions related to that. Understand from your material. Yes, sir. So I'll share I'll share the questions to you on the screen. So try these questions. You can, we'll start from first page. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, one by one, we'll start the answers, answering the questions. <coughs> the flow of electric charges is called, the flow of electric charges is called electric conduction or current, electric, electric current or electric induction. Which one is this? So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is electric current so generally uh, if this is represented with i i v is equal to q by t okay the ch electric uh, charges flow is known as electric current not electric conduction <coughs> next uh, the unit of electric current is the unit of electric current is one by one i'll come uh, so here what is the whose unit is second Generally, whose unit is second? So, which physical quantity unit is a second? Silicate here, second is a time unit. So, this is not our option. And coming to the Coulomb, Coulomb is a unit for charge. So, this option also will not come. So, simultaneously, volt. Volt is a unit for potential difference. So, this option also not come. So finally, what is the answer? Answer is ampere. Ampere is a unit for what? Uh, electric current. <coughs> Next, uh, the instrument used to measure the flow of electric current is the instrument used to measure the flow of electric current is uh, ammeter. So simply ammeter. So electrometer, no such kind of instrument is present. So voltmeter is used for potential difference. Resistor is a device. It is not, I mean, it is not measures anything. It is a device. A meter will measure the electric current. So next, uh, the direction of the conventional current is, the direction of the conventional current, here we have two types of uh, uh, currents here. Generally, normal electric current conventional current. Conventional current always uh, flows from positive terminal to negative terminal and uh, general current we use to take uh, the opposite direction of the electron flow. The opposite direction of the electron flow we use to call current. Conventional current is nothing but positive terminal to negative terminal. So here, so which one is correct here? Positive terminal to negative terminal is the correct so first option. Next, uh, the combination of two or more cells is called. The combination of two or more cells is actually one more thing also need to mention here in series connection. The combination of two or more cells connected in series connection is known as battery. Got my point? Next, uh, electrons flow from electron flow from higher potential to lower potential lower potential to higher potential, both A and B non -novels. So always electrons flow from lower potential terminal to higher potential terminal and the reverse of this flow is known as current actually. <coughs> the symbol for cell is, the symbol for cell is one by one observe the symbols. This D option is representing the which symbol, bulb symbol. This C option representing that which symbol, fuse symbol. Is it appearing to you? Is the options are appearing? Yes, sir. Look at here. So here the first option is representing the resistor. The option C representing the fuse, fuse, fuse. And next option D representing the bulb. But here asking that cell. So cell symbol is this. 
Got my point? Yes, sir. Next, let me share one more. Is it appearing? Yes, sir. Mm, now, electromotive force represents force, energy, energy per unit charge, current. So, electric electromotive force is called EMF. EMF is the physical quantity utilized to uh, move the charge from one position to the other position. So, the formula for electromotive force is work done per unit charge or energy per unit charge. So, what is the option will come? Option C will come as our answer. Next, the EMF of cell, sorry, the EMF of an electric source is measured using, the EMF of the cell is measured using voltmeter. This is voltmeter, not voltmeter. Voltmeter is an instrument to have the hydrolysis process. So, voltmeter is a device measured to measure for potential difference or EMF of the battery. Ammeter is used for electric current. Galvanometer is used for testing the electricity. So, finally, what is the answer here? The option B is our answer. The unit of EMF of a cell. So, here dyne, if we see dyne, dyne is a unit for force and ampere is a unit for current and joule is a unit for energy. So, here volt, volt is a unit for EMF of the cell. When two, when cells are connected in series, their electromotive force is sum of the, sum of the EMF of all cells higher EMF of cells both A and B neither A nor B. So, here the cells is connected in series When cells is connected in series. So, we will get the EMF total EMF is sum of the individual part individual cells. For example, these are the cells this is the way cells have connected in series. So, this is one E1, E2, E3 we have, then this group of cells also provide some more EMF, the EMF is known as sum of the EMF that is E1 plus E2 plus E3. This is only for series connection. So, the answer for here is first option, sum of the EMF of all cells, understand? Next, when the negative terminal of a cell is connected to positive terminal of the next cell, then they are said to be in. When the negative terminal of cell is connected to positive terminal of cell, next cell then are said to be. So, here what is the what they are telling? There are they have taken two cells. This is one cell, this is one cell, this is other cell. Understand it has a EMF E1, it has a EMF E2, and they are telling that negative terminal of the cell is connected to positive terminal. So, this is positive terminal, this is negative terminal, this is positive terminal, this is negative terminal. Negative terminal of cell is connected to positive terminal, it means this way. This way, this kind of connection is known as what kind of connection? Guess, guess it the answer series connection. The answer is what series connection. For parallel connection, all the positive terminals at one point, all the negative terminals at one point, it is on the connection is said to be uh, parallel connection. But here, negative terminal is connected to positive. So, such a way that all the, all the batteries, all the cells are connected. In that way, the connection is said to be series connection. And the next, uh, there are more than one part for the flow of electricity in this circuit. So, there are more than one part for the flow of electricity 
in this path series parallel both a and b none of this see let us analyze the two actually generally we have two way of connection two ways of connection or combination one way is series connection one more way is parallel connection and other way is mix of these two parallel and series connection mixed that is known as a mixed connection but here so the in which way you will have more path to flow for example let us assume that bulbs in series this is one bulb this is a uh, another bulb this is another bulb this connection is said to be series connection now in this series connection the current have started from the battery and flowing through this connecting wires so this is the way the, cu the current is flowing in the circuit but observe the thing observe one thing here only one way have for current flow the way is what let me give the way a b c d a b c d a a b c d a is the only one way have for the current flow let's let me take parallel connection of the bulb so once again this is the bulb this is one more bulb this is one more bulb this is the way the connection happened for the bulbs now this is connected to the cell so that current is starts from the battery so when it is reaching to here this current is divided here again when it is reaching here current is divided here so here you are observing that current is having many path to flow one path is this is one path and this is one more path and this is another path this is the way when different path the current is having to flow which means that in which so the final finally in which case you will observe more path to have the current flow so here obviously the parallel connection next up, if cells having different emfs are connected in parallel then the effective emf of the cell is the effective emf of the cell obviously the cell having is having the greatest emf in series connection the cells emf is combination or sum of the cells but in the parallel connection you will have the greatest cell emf is the effective emf of the circuit in a parallel connection take note next <clears throat> is it completed yes sir next uh, in parallel so 15th question one more question in parallel circuit of bulbs if we disconnect uh, any one of the bulbs then the remaining bulbs are in parallel connection so look at here in parallel connection or series connection they are talking about yeah, this connection right yeah in parallel circuit of the bulbs if you disconnect any one of the bulb then the remaining bulb then the remaining bulb glow continuously because if this is not working if this is not working the remaining bulbs are will work okay the remain will will work but in the in the 16 question in series circuit the uh, in the series circuit of electric bulb if one bulb is disconnected remaining bulb so if this is a series connection if this is not there if this is not there means circuit have disconnected circuit become open circuit in the open circuit uh, current may current cannot flow since the all the remaining bulbs will not glow so answer is what 
So series connection and series circuit of the bulbs, if one bulb is disconnected, remaining bulbs does not glow is the answer. Got it? Next, uh, the safety device used in electric circuit is the safety device used in electric circuit is fuse, cell, wire, battery. Which one is the option here? Obviously, the fuse is a fuse is a device uh, is used to uh, protect from overloading of the circuit. So, this is the answer. Next, uh, the wire used in fuse should have dash than the connecting wire. Low resistance, high resistance, same resistance, no specific value. It must have high resistance value. When it is have high res the, the fuse wire, the quality of the, I mean the characters of the fuse wire must be high resistance and low melting point. High resistance and low melting point is the uh, properties must have by the fuse wire. So, when high resistance wire acquire more heat energy since uh, obviously it will melt easily. When it is melt easily, it is melt for low temperatures since must have the low melting point. Next, uh, the device which convert the electrical energy into light energy. So, simply the device is used to convert electrical energy into light energy is called bulb here heater, oven, yeast house. Heater is converting the heat energy and oven is converting into also heat energy. The yeast house also converting in the heat energy. Only bulb is converting to light energy. So, that is the basic information related to these questions. Next, I will share one more slide. <clears throat> so, this is your one more slide, better take down. <clears throat> yeah, now this is one more thing. Next, uh, the device used to make or break circuit. The device used to make or break the circuit is MCB miniature circuit breaker. So, this is uh, using nowadays for make or break the uh, circuit. Next, uh, which of the following device work on the principle of electric heater? Hot. MCB. Yeah. Which of the following device works on the principle of electric heater? So, what is the answer? Hot plate, iron box, all of these all are working on the same principle. The commonly used safety fuse wire is made up of copper, lead, nickel and alloy of tin and lead. So, the option D is the correct and alloy of tin and lead. And next the main line power at house from substation has 120 volt AC 60 hertz frequency, 120 volt AC 50 hertz frequency, 200 volt AC 60 hertz frequency, 150 volt AC 50 hertz. Actually this is for India. They are asking about India no? because for country to country the voltage and frequency will vary because the current flow depends upon the temperatures. So, in cold countries we would have different uh, uh, values uh, rating of the current. This in, for India only the option B is correct. Okay. For India that is the reason if you observe the gadgets like uh, uh, mobile phones and uh, laptops, if you observe that on the gadgets uh, you can observe the, uh, the labeling of the uh, power supply. Okay? So, if you observe the, if you observe cold countries, on the cold countries if you brought anything gadget, the that gadget uh, labeling is different, that gadget uh, power rating is different. Okay? That is the reason the, uh, I mean 
gadgets cannot some gadgets cannot work uh, in india for, for uh, potential because of the change in potentials understand have you observed this kind of situation chaitanya yes have you observed this kind of situation yes sir yeah next uh, kilowatt hour is a unit for what kilowatt hour is yeah you are right it is a unit for energy practical unit of energy same still precisely if you say practical unit of energy number of kilowatt hour is equal to number of kilowatt hour is equal to voltage into ammeter upon tell me or power into time actually this is representing the power and uh, they are asking time they are asking time in hours so this time in hours so that would be give the answer so option c will come option c is your answer next uh, odd man out type fuse barometer voltmeter resistance tell me which one is uh, answer here obviously barometer is our answer understand because fuse voltmeter resistance are related to electricity barometer is related to pressure since uh, that is a odd man out next uh, electric iron box electric immersion meter electric fuse gas stove so here the gas stove is a odd man because among the four options the all three options are working on the working on electricity but gas stove cannot work on the electricity so so that that is the answer next next one when electric current flows through a conductor then some amount of electric energy converted into heat energy electrical energy converted into mechanical energy electrical energy converted into electrical energy heat energy is converted into electrical energy simply the option a is correct option a is correct because when the current is flowing through the wire is uh, some amount of the uh, electrical energy is converted into heat energy that is the reason if you touch the uh, wires um, who is having label label means uh, who is having protective layer if you touch that uh, you may feel that hotness <coughs> next uh, electric current uh, electromotive force and next uh, 29th question if three cells emf 2 volt 3 volt 4 volt are connected in parallel then the effect to emf is tell me they are connected in parallel keep in mind this is a connection in the connection in parallel the effect to emf is the highest value of the cells so the answer is 4 volt next if three cells of emf 2 volt 2 volt uh, 3 volt are connected in series if the series connection you must do sum of the sum of the emfs if you do sum of the emf effect to emf is equal to e1 plus e2 plus e3 that is 2 plus 2 plus 3 since that is 4 7 volt so option a is the correct answer understand understand next let me go for the slide this are the other other potential differences measured a meter galvanometer voltmeter voltmeter and voltmeter so option d is correct voltmeter by using the voltmeter we can measure the potential difference next in the given circuit diagram pq are the switches lamp will glow when lamp will go when p is open q is closed yes it is right p is closed q is open this is also correct and p is closed 
C is also true. This in this case also blue. So all of the above is correct because any one thing is closed, it will on the switch and it will blow the lamp. So that is the all the options. Next, uh, all electrical appliances in our house are connected in what kind of connection series are parallel. So must be series because in the parallel connection, if anything went wrong for any appliance, the remaining will work if it is parallel connection. So parallel connection is our answer. Next, uh, the street lights are connected in. The street lights also connected in parallel connection only. It cannot be uh, what? It cannot be series. Next, uh, which of the following is not a source of electric current? Scar battery, dry cell, dynamo, electromagnet. Which of the following is not a source of electric current? Dry cell, car battery, dynamo, electromagnet. So here this electromagnet is a not a source of uh, current because dynamo, dry cell, car battery will give the uh, potential difference so that current will flow. But whereas electromagnet is utilizing the electricity so it not uh, producing the current flow so the D option is correct. Understand? Next, uh, Poja makes a simple circuit with, a, with one bulb and five cells. The bulbs for an instant and then goes out. Why? Electricity could not flow through the circuit. Too much electricity passed through the bulbs filament. The wires melted in the heat. All the above. This all the above options will come. So, for example, electricity could not flow through them. In that case, also may instantly go out. Too much electricity passed through that because of that they may spoil. The wires melted in the heat. Maybe that is also possible. So, all the options will come. Next, uh, three bulbs A, B, C are connected in a circuit as shown in figure. When the three switches are Switch on. Bulbs C will glow fast, bulb B and C will go simultaneously and A will glow after some time. All bulbs C, B, C will glow the same time. The bulbs will glow the order A, B, C. So no, the C option is correct. All the bulbs will glow in the same, same time because the current flowing in A, B, C is the same, at the same time it flow. So, all the bulbs will blow at a time. That is the answer. Take them. Next, uh, let's share one more. Generally filament is made up by the wire. Here filament generally made by the tungsten, but here they did not mention the tungsten. So you can take the nichrome wire. Even nichrome wire also will use. Nowadays we use this device in our our houses due to power cut, generator, inverter, battery, none of this. Actually, we are using inverters and generators. Inverters and generators both will come actually. The property of material to oppose the flow of current is called resistance. Nichrome wire is used in electric appliances because it has high resistance to electric current, it has low resistance to electric current. No, it has high resistance. A nichrome wire has a high resistance. The device which reduces the wastage of electricity, heater, store, bulb, CFL. CFL is, uh, I mean, it will cannot use, I mean, cannot reduce, wastage the electricity. Next, uh, the electric meter 
in which in the main circuit board records amount of resistance, amount of voltage, amount of current, amount of charge, amount of uh, actually the answer is not there here the device which measure the amount of electrical energy. So actually electrical energy relating term only one is there amount of voltage. Next one kilowatt hour, one kilowatt hour is equal to uh, how much? One unit, one unit of electricity. The fuse why to be used depends upon the voltage of the mains, the wastage of the planes, cost of the planes and all these the wattage of the appliance, the wattage of the appliance based on that we will use that ok, ok anyhow this is the today's topic remaining things you can do on your own. Now for today we will stop the session and you have the exam on 5th or you will in the next class we will do revision of the classes understand. Yes, so today we will stop the session bye. Bye.